Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. We've had the incubator running for about 12-15 hours and uh, these eggs were delivered around this time yesterday so they've had about 24 hours to settle. So we've popped them in the incubator so we can get them started. The sooner the better. Hopefully we get a good uh, turnaround with these. But we don't know it is still January after all so eggs don't tend to set very well this time of year but having said that I've just been down to the uh, pen and one of our lovely ladies has decided to lay an egg in the actual pen itself so I'll just pop that there and we'll go down and have a look here he goes he's off luck so they've been rewarding us already for the new run, Cookingham Palace. So I'm not sure which one it was, I suspect it was the brown hen. That lady over there, she laid it in that corner there because we've still got the nest box um, sealed up. But having said that, look who we have here, the white leghorn. She looks like she's trying to lay, so I'm going to open this nest box up today and hopefully at some point Reginald will bring the shed up as well. All the footings have gone off, so we should be able to lay the base down without it moving anywhere. This cement, got nice and hard. Yeah, you keep sniffing it, don't you? Behave! Digging it out, you nutter. So they're not great pads, but they'll be enough just to take the weight of the shed and lift the timber off the soil so it doesn't rot as quickly. So let's go and fetch it. We're in, we're in the brewery, we're in the workshop. Let's put the light on. Hey, let there be light. So these are the trims for the sides of the shed. All painted yesterday, all gone off, very nice indeed. So we'll move all this down to the bottom of the unit, ready to go onto the van when Stuart arrives, which could be any time between now and five o'clock. <laughs> uh, here's all the shed itself, everything's ready to go, it's been broken down into its modular parts, nothing's too big to get round the back. So I've just got to bring those trims down and yeah we'll just be waiting for Stubo. Get all this stuff packed up so I know what I want to take with me and what I don't. Make sure I've got the right screws. Here's the floor and make sure I've got my drill cordless and everything else. And then hopefully we'll get this shed up today. I need to get this heated up as well. Otherwise, it's going to be no good for no man or beast. I could probably take that home. I know it's a, it's a buzz out. Look at that, a crisp. Oh, that's too soggy to eat. I know it's another run back up to home, but at least if I take that up now, then hopefully this roof felt adhesive will be warm enough to spread. Feels quite liquid oh, I don't know I don't know I don't want to risk it and have it absolutely useless so yeah I'll probably nip this back up to home so it's in the warmth for the morning so we've got the shed back don't look all that big now when it's here and managed to put the frame down but I've had to send Stu back to the unit I forgot the noggins in betwixt but we're coming to the chicken pen because Gemma said We've got another gift from our little chickadees. Oh, would you look at that. They've pulled some straw out of here as well. So that's going to be probably the two leghorns which have laid them. Have you laid one, girl? Are you coming to lay it? Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna have to put them there for a second. I've shut the door wrong. You coming to lay an egg? 
We'll open the nest box for you, and you can lay all you want. Please, for me, to say thanks for your new house. I think she does want to lay. Shall we open this nest box up for her? Right, there we go. We'll throw the nest material back in the nest. Clever girls, aren't they? I did that so they get used to roosting on the bars and they don't foul all their nest material, but now they're laying. We'll give them the nest boxes back. I've been told that uh, Dave's Mrs. Sarah puts a little kind of curtain in front of the nest box at, uh, on her chicken pen to stop the uh, what is it? What stop the hens bothering each other when they're laying eggs? So we might try that. Little net curtain. Just a little curtain. A little curtain. Yeah, yeah, so tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. A buff or pinkton. But there we go, two pearly whites. Do you want to take them? Can do. As soon as you're keen. They look nice, don't they? They look like duck eggs almost. Wrong colour, of course. Well, I'll have them for tea. Right, I think we're going to set up a time lapse for the build. a little bit and then it started raining so I brought the camera in and then it continued raining and continued raining and continued raining and it got muddy so I've decided to cut this short today and uh, I'm gonna actually go and get myself strange as it seems a bottle of wine sit in front of the fire well we haven't got one and sit in front of a radiator I know and uh, and watch a film and we'll come back tomorrow and finish the shed providing the weather is good but yeah it's thrown me it's not me for six that i didn't know that the rain was coming today i should have checked it kind of peed me off a little bit looks good though doesn't it 